You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye in the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads! Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. That's because he hadn't met me. That's for damn sure. You don't know how glad I am you're here, working with the police. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon! Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I haven't had the pleasure of an introduction, Miss... A pleasure, huh? Most people don't usually call it that. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them, give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. Sounds like the expertise we need. Keep that attitude, and we'll get along just fine. We're not always welcomed with open arms. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention the city's corrupt mayor, Dent. We could do great things together if we joined forces. Seems that way to me. We should work together to bring Riddler in. Don't be too hasty, Batman. The Agency has a rep for being ruthless. The only real problem with your setup? is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? Things could have gone better. <laughs> That's an understatement. The GCPD don't have the training to deal with maniacs like Riddler. They didn't back in the day. They don't now. Yeah, thanks for the support. I know it doesn't feel like it, Commissioner, but I'm here to help. Batman gets it. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far as a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. 
This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Think you made a good impression, Batman? My boss isn't usually that nice. <sighs> I'd like to see her on a bad day. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. I'm not here to step on any toes. Treat me and my people like partners. Promise you'll share anything on the Riddler. You and me aren't gonna have any problems at all. That's all. I just wanted to let you know where I stand. Full disclosure, Riddler left me this puzzle. What is it? I don't know yet. He said I had to solve it or people would get hurt. Then you best get on it. Let's keep being honest with each other. The agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, Batman's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. We have a common enemy in the Riddler. That puts us on the same side. You really are a different Batman these days, aren't you? Silver linings in all things. Well, you warned me about keeping my paranoia down to acceptable levels. Thought I'd give it a try. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How oh, so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. Fine with me. Whatever gets results. There's a line, Batman. Once you cross it, you stop being on the side of right. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Notify Waller. She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knocking. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. We'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. Stopping you is all I care about. I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> we'll see. Just know that there's a cost to doing business. The agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure. But she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. 
peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant, Eli Nabel, took a go at me in the casino, put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. I'll talk to Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way. Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure I'd want to know you were here. Waller's agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. Not expecting problems, detective. We're all on the same team. Good to finally hear someone around here say it. <laughs> I'd shout it from the rooftops if you acted like it was true. Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. Said he'd hit back if we got too close. Don't worry, Waller. We'll bring your agents back safe. I appreciate the morale boost, Batman. But we have to find them first. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I'm here. Come on, then. Just remember, the Commissioner likes things by the book. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. You say anything I should know? I take it Gordon mentioned my connection to Lucius Fox. Fox? No, he didn't. But now a lot of things make sense. Doesn't matter right now. We gotta put the screws on Nabel. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. If you impaled a 60-year-old man on a spike of rebar, well... You'll know how to deal with this punk. What's your point? Use any means necessary. As long as you get Nabel to tell us where Riddler is. My agent's lives are at risk. The gloves have to come off. I'll get him to talk. Whatever it takes. You and me? We're doers, Batman. We know how to get things done. Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that goddamn chair. Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. If you're worried what Gordon might think. Keep it off. Need anything else?
You might hear some screaming in a minute. Pretend you can't. I want the Riddler, Eli. I will break you apart to get to him. No, please, you, you, you don't have to do that. I'm so, so glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. You, you'll keep them, they keep her from killing me. Riddler said you had rules against that. Against killing. I do, but not against her. Where is he, Eli? I'm telling you, I can't do it. You don't know him. The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. You've seen his machines. He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. The only one getting hurt tonight is you. Tell me where Riddler is. You can't beat him. He can kill any one of us anytime he wants. One phone call. All those agency guys are dead. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that could save me if I cross him. Next, we start on the legs. Hurting me does nothing. There's no getting away from him. He can be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. There's nothing you can do, Batman. No, Eli. You are wasting my time. And I'm out of patience. <laughs> He's on a ship in Gotham Bay. What ship? The Lady of Dublin. He's launching the missiles there, too. What the hell, Batman? What have you done? The Lady of Dublin. What you did to him. How... How could you? How could you hurt him like that? Honestly? I can't see him recovering from head trauma like that. Spare me your judgments, Detective. I have a job to do, and I don't have the luxury of scruples. Scruples aren't a luxury. They're a necessity. They're what make us the good guys. Sometimes good is just another word for ineffective, Detective. It's all about a means to an end. You... You're a monster. Yeah. But he's my monster. I don't have time for this. And that's that. I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from me. You on the other hand, Gordon. Well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair. This mess here? That's on you. 
Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... Now wait a damn minute. Your stonewalling the agency has screwed us all. My thoughts exactly. If you spent less time complaining, maybe you'd get more done. You son of a... After all the things we went through together... That's enough, Commissioner. Consider it a kindness I don't just straight up get you demoted. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.